We begin tonight back on Barger, Barker Avenue, the scene of a big fire last night that firefighters say could have been so much worse. Eyewitness News' Cody Bailey is live tonight on Barker Avenue with the latest on this investigation. Cody? Good evening, Brad and Shelley. Yeah, it was shortly after 9.30 Tuesday night where crews received several 911 calls responding to this scene here in the 1400 block of South Barker Avenue within just a couple of minutes to see one of the homes completely engulfed in flames. The scene today, complete devastation and destruction. I'll step off to the side so you can see that home destroyed by last night's fire. And charred remains evident this morning and continuing here this evening as well. But firefighters tonight are being praised for their quick action responding to the scene to save those houses that you see on either side of the home destroyed to protect them from further damage. Very lucky. Those houses are probably five feet apart and the, the eaves are, are possibly even closer than that. I haven't measured it, but they're very close. So great job by the firefighters. Division Chief Mike Larson says early fire detection and a fast response was crucial in containing this fire from the 1400 block of South Barker Avenue. Firefighters say, thankfully, no injuries were reported. The occupant in the home to the south, even as big as that fire was, was unaware of what was going on. And I'm not sure if it was our firefighters that got to her first to get, to get her out or if, if a neighbor did uh, knock on the door or not. But even as big as that fire was initially, she, she didn't even know what was happening. Another hazard for firefighters, the extremely cold conditions. At the time of the fire, temperatures were falling into the teens. Slip and falls are really, uh, for our firefighters, probably the biggest risk for injury outside of the structure. Uh, we've got that layer of water and ice on the ground. Fighting fires in the cold often presents its danger after the work is completed. Fighting the fire, the adrenaline, they're working, they're warm. Once the fire's out and it's time to start rolling up hose and put things away, now that sweat that's inside that turnout gear starts to get, it creates the other effect and starts, well, sweat is supposed to cool you off. That extreme temperature, there you go. Despite that hazard, there is a silver lining to working in the cold. Well, probably the upside of the colder weather is just the heat stress on our firefighters. I mean, it, it reduces that greatly for our firefighters. I mean, in a, in a hot summer when it's 95 or 100 degrees out, the heat stress on them is, is pretty uh, significant. Despite those very cold conditions uh, last night and continuing today, Larson says they were not quite at the level where hoses would typically freeze or where other health hazards due to the cold may have set in. So that is some good news as well. We did speak with a resident next door who tells us that she experienced some basement flooding with the firefighters uh, or using the water to extinguish that fire last night. Uh, the inside of her home, she says, does smell a little smoky, uh, but it's also likely that the aluminum siding on her home prevented further damage damage compared to typically some homes that have vinyl uh, siding that uh, Chief Larson told us today that uh, that typically causes the heat to melt and then can cause that heat transfer to do further damage as well. So some silver linings after a devastating fire here on Barker Avenue on Tuesday night.